Dear viewers, in today carbohydrate section, we will study esterification, glycoside formation, epimerization, reduction, oxidation reaction on carbohydrates, and we will study various tests used for detection of carbohydrates. So first reaction is ester and ether formation. So when you treat beta D glucopyranose with acetic anhydride in presence of base, all hydroxyl group will get acetylated. You can get pentaoacetyl beta D glucopyranose. In place of acetic anhydride, you can use various acid chloride, acyl chloride for acylation or acetylation. Next reaction is Williamson ether synthesis on carbohydrates. So what happened in this reaction? We use alkyl halide in presence of base. When we treat it with alcohol, it gives you ether compound. So same thing happened here. When we treated beta D glucopyranose with idomethane in presence of silver oxide, it gives you beta D glucopyranose pentamethyl ether. So this reaction occur through SN2 process. So next is glycoside formation. We know that hemiacetal react with alcohol in presence of acid. It give you acetal. I will give you the mechanism in next slide how acetal formation occur. So we know that our glucopyranose is also exist in hemiacetal form. So when we treat it with alcohol in presence of acid, it will give you methyl alpha D glucopyranoside. So here you will get methyl glycoside. You can easily say methyl glycoside. And it comes in the category of O glycoside. So when we treat it with methyl amine, it will give you NHCS3. Then it will come in the category of N glycoside. So here you can see it is oxygen. So it is O glycoside. So methyl alpha D glucopyranoside you will get in 66% and other anomer you will also get which is beta D glycopyranoside which you will get in 33%. So now you know the term glycoside. So when I will say alkyl glycoside you will easily understand that uh, there is alkyl group and a sugar group. If I will say aryl glycoside, you will easily understand that there is some aromatic group and a glycoside group. And this glycoside formation occur only at anomeric carbon. Here, anomeric hydroxyl group replaced. How this anomeric hydroxyl group replaced? So you can see that this is glucose. When you treat it with acid, this hydroxyl group get protonated and it will give you hydronium ion. So loss of this hydronium ion occur in the form of water. Now it will give you carbocation here. This carbocation is resonance stabilized and it will give you this intermediate. So on this intermediate attack of your alcohol happened. So you can see it is front side attack. So you will get your this methyl glycoside product and this is beta anomer okay why it is beta anomer because methoxy and this ch2oh group are in cis conformation are in same side okay you will also get alpha anomer because this methanol can attack on back side also so here you can see methanol is attacking on back side of this carbon so you will also get alpha methyl glycoside okay so you will get both alpha and beta number. So one point to be noticed here. So it doesn't matter from which you start. If you start from alpha D glucose, you will get mixture of glycoside like alpha glycoside and beta glycoside. You will get mixture. And I told you the reason here because attack of methanol is happening from front side as well as from back side. So both kind of product you are getting alpha and beta anomers. Next is epimerization. When you treat your glucose with strong base, tautomerization happen. In tautomerization, this double bond will move here and this hydrogen will come at this uh, oxygen and it will give you this in diol product. You will get diol product. But when again epimerization happen, 
it will return to its aldose product but when it return to its aldose product the configuration at carbon 2 get lost because you can see here hydroxyl group are coming at right side as well as hydroxyl groups are coming at left side so from d glucose when you treat with strong base you will get mixture of compound and that compound contain d glucose and d mannose so the c2 configuration is lost in this process this process is called epimerization and the product formed in this process is called epimer so d glucose and d mannose are the epimers because they are diastereomer and they differ from each other in configuration only at one chiral center so d glucose and d mannose are the epimeric product of d glucose and the process is called epimerization next is reduction of monosaccharide so for reduction you need some carbonyl group or double bond but in this structure beta d glucopyranose you cannot see any double bond or carbonyl but you know that in open chain form there is aldehyde group present generally this glucose exists in this form in nature but very small fraction remain in equilibrium with the, this open chain form now this open chain form contain aldehyde when you treat it with sodium borohydride reduction happened and this converted into alcohol so you will get d glucitol product which is an aldehyde so now your open chain is converted into this product now more d glucopyranose which is in cyclic form will convert into uh, open chain to maintain the equilibrium and further this process happen and so the equilibrium will shift toward this direction slowly so next is oxidation of monosaccharide when you treat aldehyde group with oxidizing agent you get acid so when you treat aldose with oxidizing agent you get aldonic acid okay but in this structure can you see any aldehyde present no there is no aldehyde group present in this structure but again we know that this cyclic form remain in equilibrium with the open chain form and open chain contain aldehyde group so when you treat this aldehyde group with oxidizing agent you will get your acid here bromine in water at ph 6 act as a good oxidizing agent for conversion of this aldehyde into acid and you are getting d gluconic acid as a product so this oxidation reaction can be useful to differentiate between aldose product and kistose product because we know that aldose product will easily convert into acid but ketose product will not convert into acid so if uh, this reactions happen oxidation reaction happen in any carbohydrate you can easily say okay there is aldehyde group present and this is aldose sugar okay not ketose sugar so we know that ketose also remain in equilibrium with the uh, aldose in very little bit amount by the process of epimerization so mild acidic condition which is ph6 help to prevent this isomerization so it prevent conversion of ketose to aldose so we can easily detect aldose and ketose by using oxidizing agent at ph6 okay so other tests for carbohydrates are Tollens reagent test, Felling reagent test, Benedict reagent test. So your aldoses and ketoses react with these reagent and give some colored product or precipitate by which you can easily detect whether carbohydrate present or not. For example Tollens reagent which is a, a silver ion in aqueous ammonia. When you treat Tollens reagent with aldoses and ketoses you will get metallic silver so in test tube you will see a um, silver mirror so this test is useful to detect aldoses and ketoses similarly when you treat felling reagent which is copper ion in sodium titrate and benetics reagent copper ion in sodium citrate when you treat this reagent with aldoses and ketoses you get red precipitate of copper oxide so by this way you can check whether aldoses or ketoses are present or not the sugar in this process are called reducing sugar because the carbohydrate 
can reduce oxidizing agent. So these tests can be useful for uh, aldosis and ketosis which are reducing sugar. But uh, when we talk about glycoside, now the anomeric positions are protected. So there is no aldehyde or ketone. So this test cannot be useful for glycosides. Okay. So another thing is when you treat your sugar with nitric acid, this alcohol get also converted into acid. Okay. So you will get two acid product. One is aldehyde converted into acid and another is this CH2OH is converted into acid. So you will get product aldehyde acid and also called it as D-glucaric acid. So this was all about various chemical reaction happened on carbohydrate and various test reagent useful to detect aldosis and ketosis. Thank you for watching the video.